Hi everyone, it's me Lisette. Welcome to a proper song. I'm actually making a video today in my car because I dropped off my stepdaughter. She has an interview today and I had to pick her up. I left work to come get her because her ride that was supposed to bring her couldn't make it. So I decided to come. She needed a ride and she called us, her, her dad and I, and said, please, somebody come get me. So I left work a little bit earlier to bring her out here and I'm happy I did. Now we're sitting out here and I'm just thinking about you know, sometimes when I'm in the stores, whether it be Walmart or something, and I hear a young person that's a lot younger than I, that's sitting there, standing there, complaining, complaining, and complaining. Complaining to the people that are buying things, complaining to the people that are going through their register, just complaining all the time. It makes me think, how can you complain? You're young. You have your whole life ahead of you. You know, when I was young, I don't know about you, we had to work. That was it. There was no staying home and doing nothing. My mom did not allow it. Like, we went to school and we went to work. When we hit a certain age where we could get our working papers, we went to work. One of my first jobs was Macy's. I worked at Macy's in the Bronx. I remember that being one of my first jobs and I was like so excited. I got dressed really nice. And I was so excited because I went to do like the inventory part and um, I had working papers and stuff. And I remember that. Then I worked at McDonald's. And I was going to school, and in the summer I was in an upper bound program, and I was in um, going to Fordham University, and um, that was that was so much fun, and staying there throughout the summer and going to school there and working. And I remember them giving us stipend money at Fordham University. We got stipend money. I remember those days, but my mom made sure we worked. There was no such thing as being home and sleeping in to all hours of the day. We had to get up early in the morning and go to work I didn't like it <laughs> of course what teenager is gonna like it you know give me give me what I want give me clothes give me this now my parents provided for us bought our clothes did everything for us but we worked and it was the best gift my mom gave me besides introducing me to Jesus the best gift second gift my mom gave me was to be self-sufficient to work hard to get a job to to have my own of my own have my own place you know I remember there was a time I lived alone and I didn't have a car at the time and I walked everywhere to work I walked to work I walked to get my groceries you know and I have friends that would pick me up if we went out places but the majority of the time when it came to my job I walked I thank the Lord only by his grace I survived it I survived it. It was hard, but I survived it. So what is it with all these young people that don't want to go to work? Like I tell my daughters all the time, my stepdaughters, I said, I'm willing to help you. Anything you need, but you got to get up and help yourself too. Got to get up. You got to push yourself. You got to, if you're a young person and you're watching this, you got to get up from where you're at. Stop blaming your parents. You know, we're living in, in a society where everybody's entitled I should have this, I should have that, I'm entitled, I'm entitled. No, you have to work for it. This country was built on hard workers, people that worked hard, that built this country. I didn't just get, I'm just going to be honest, okay, it's great, they're paying $15 an hour at McDonald's, but really? They didn't just get a free ride, they worked so hard to get where they're at. And I think any job you have, Walmart, McDonald's, as long as you're working hard, and you have a job that you're excited about it doesn't matter if it's McDonald's or it's in a doctor's office or you're a dentist technician it doesn't matter as long as you're working a decent job that's what counts but I've heard it I go through the line sometimes and these young people are complaining oh I don't want to go oh, I've been here for three hours and I'm so I want to go home really even when we were kids, you know, we got up Saturday mornings. How many of you did this? Share your comments with me. We got up on Saturday morning. We got out of our pajamas. We put on our play clothes. We cleaned the house with my mom when we were kids. And then she let us go outside and play. Come back outside, upstairs, we would get Kool-Aid, we would get a hot dog or whatever. And then we'd go back outside and we'd play. I remember those days. I remember my mom doing rollers in my hair for church on Sunday. And I would have them in my hair all day Saturday. Oh, yeah. And we would be outside running around and just having fun and being kids. What's going on in these days? Children need to be children. 
They need to quit messing with these kids and putting adult things in their head that children don't need to be thinking about. Children need to enjoy being a child. Run around, build a fort. Make something with your hands. You don't have to be rich and have a lot of money. We weren't rich. But when we went to parks and my parents took us to different places, we went outside and we took got sticks and different things. I remember one time going to the beach and being with my friends from church and we got all these like cans that we found and we made like a little store and we would play. I remember playing store at our house, playing all kind of games, being children. I remember going outside in the city and playing in the water. You know, they don't do that anymore, but they would turn on the fire hydrants, the water, and we run out in the streets and play in the water. I remember those days. Those were the good old days. Those is what that's what I call the good old days. Night sometimes at night, it was six o'clock at night, summer night. I remember being outside playing in the playground. My parents were always always there when we were really little. And we'd be playing in the playground and swinging on the swings, playing with friends. You went upstairs, you were nice and sweaty, your face was dirty, the bottom of your feet, you got in the bathtub, and then went to bed and you slept really well. And in these days, to even get a child to get off their computers and get off their phones and have a, a, just a good time learning about history, learning about fun things, learning how to make something, how to build something, build a fort. Take the blankets. We used to take blankets. We lived in the Bronx, but we would take chairs and put them together, throw our blankets on top and go under, make a fort. We would tie to our beds the blankets and make a little tent. We had so much fun. Now people want to give the children the television and their phones and have them babysit their children. Now, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with some screen time. We liked our cartoons back then. We liked Charlie Brown. And I remember when the newspaper used to come out and it would say CBS Charlie Brown tonight and those fun things. We used to look forward to the Wizard of Oz and all that fun stuff. But my parents didn't use it to babysit us. They gave us skills. We had to do things. And I'm going to say my parents did everything right. But they did a lot right. My dad taught me how to write my first check. How to have a bank account. All those things. So I could learn how to live out in society. And I had to struggle. I had to work hard. To this day. It's not easy. I don't think I'm old anything. I'm entitled to anything. Give me, give me. I need it. No. You work for it. Now there's ways God blesses us. He helps us. He teaches us to be frugal. To learn how to save our money. In different ways that God just blesses us. But we got to work for those things. We got to work hard to achieve those things. I'm talking to a lot of the young people that are probably watching this. Go to school, get your degree, get do something, you know? I tell my stepdaughters all the time, "You do this, I'll do this for you too." You push forward, I'll help you with this. I already told one of my daughters, I said, "If you do A, B, and C and D, I already have all this stuff for you that I'm going to give you. That's going to be yours when you do A, B, C and D." They know it. They know I'm going to be there for them. But they have to put that foot forward. They have to also try. I'm just not going to give stuff away. And then we're creating a nation of children that don't appreciate anything. Disrespectful to their parents. When the parents become their child's friend. Yeah, you can be your child's friend. But you got to be a parent first. Got to stand true. And I have these children that are disrespecting their adult parents. I've seen these adult children just being very rude to their parents. One time I, I went with my husband to um, an appointment and I was waiting in the waiting room when my husband was out, you know, in the back in his appointment. And this adult lady was just very rude to her mom. The way she was talking to her was despicable. Despicable. She should have been embarrassed for treating her mom with such disrespect. I tell you what I would have got if I would have ever talked to my mom like that. I'm in my 50s and thank God my mom's still alive. And she's older now. No, she's elderly now. She still would knock me clean if I talked to her a certain way. You know, my brother is no better than to talk to her with any disrespect. You know, I don't believe in abusing your children and stuff. That That's ridiculous. You know, you can talk to your children and teach them without any of that garbage. You know, but there's got to be a certain kind of consequence. There's got to be, if I would have ever disrespected my mom, all my mom had to do was look at me and I straightened up. I remember in church, I would be fooling around and talking and goofing around. And I look back and my mom, I, my mom would be sitting in the back 
And she gave me the look. You know the look. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Wait till you get home. <laughs> that kind of look. I straightened up immediately. Because we knew we had respected our parents. Oh, you're just scared of your parents. No. It's called respect. I respect them now. They need something we're there. You know, that you respect your parents. I mean, my sister lives closer to my mom than I do. I live in another state. And my sister's there. She does everything for my parents, you know. They're older now. She takes care of them, you know. And then when we visit them, I make sure my mom is okay. And she's taken care of. I mean, anyway, going on a tangent. But you know what I'm trying to say. Come on. Kids, get up. Rise up. Rise above everything. Be a kid. Quit worrying about stuff that children should not be worrying about. That we've allowed in our nation. And just do the things that they have to do. Have a life for yourself. Be a good citizen. Respect your country that you live in. Try living in one of these other faraway countries. Just try living in one of these other faraway countries. I could tell you, some countries are great. But I've been to some countries. And their children wish they were here. And I've been to some countries where you're not going to have the, those iPhones you have right now. You're not going to have any of that. You won't have no freedom of religion, freedom to praise God. Let's remember to appreciate what we have. Let's remember to appreciate our parents. And if you're young and you're watching this, get a job. Do what you're supposed to do. Work. Quit mooching off your parents. You know, now if they're helping you and you're trying and they're helping you for a period of time, that's great. Help them wash the dishes. Pick up your socks. You know, I'm talking to adult children here. I'm not talking to little kids that need their parents, you know, to be there. And I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about adult children. But you know when that's learned? When they're little. When they're little, you teach them. You make it fun. Help them pick up their socks. You play a game or anything. Teach them to clean up after themselves. I don't know. I went off on a tangent. I tell you, I do that sometimes. But it's the truth. It's the truth. Quit blaming our parents for everything. Well, you didn't do this when I was a kid, and you didn't do this, and I wanted that pretty shoes, and you wouldn't buy them, and that's why my life is messed up. Let me tell you something. A lot of us have been through things that we never tell anyone, but we still have to press forward, and we can't still make excuses for why we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Got to go forward. Got to get the help you need if you need help. Not everybody had good parents. Get the help you need. But don't let anything stop you from reaching your goals and the dreams that you have. We're not entitled. What we're entitled to is to work hard, to be a good American citizen, to do our best, to work hard at what we do, whatever it is that we do. May God bless you, everyone. I wanted to share this video while I was sitting out here, make a video and talk about the importance, the importance of working hard, the importance of doing something with your life. God bless you. And you know what? Maybe you can share, share this with maybe a young person that you know that right now doesn't want to do anything. Maybe they'll listen. Maybe they won't. God bless. Bye.